Everybody's got the uniform. Everybody's assigned correctly. Excellent. Okay. So. Let's swing by then the wholesale place. Repick up. Completely turned around. Repick up. Some stuff. And then I think we're okay to make tons and tons of money? Question mark? Because we got marketing going, so... As long as I get more shelves in and I keep the shelves full and stocked, we'll make... I would expect enough profits to also do... Gosh, darn near daily deliveries with the second shelving unit that I got in the back of the van. Plenty of room to hold loads of backstock. I, I'm expecting to have like eight thousand to twelve thousand dollar days every single day, easy, without having to uh, balls. They closed. I was just too late. Without having to try too hard. It's my expectation. Should I just leave the van down here? I think I just leave the van here. It's free legal parking. <laughs> let me let me grab some lunch quick. Alright, we'll pick up the van tomorrow. I'll just like use the subway to get back up, check in on the business and subway back down. How we doing in here? Looks like a lot of stuff is running a bit low on stock. But that's probably fine. I would think that's fine. I'm gonna bed until like seven in the morning. Six thousand three hundred ten bucks. Not bad. Could be better. But here comes Friday and I need pretty much like more everything. Just just more everything. All of the things. That can be arranged. Also, more shelving units, too. The backstock shelf, but also some shelving in the front, right? Acts of kindness. Marketing is, yeah, set. Schedule should be fine. Friday is just Margaret working all day. And weekends, we get the two registers going. I got the bags for them both. Prices are still set to default. That didn't carry over. Stock count, though, yeah, we need more just stuff. And customer service is not looking too great. Okay. Opening in two out. Wait, is this even the right place? Yeah, it is. Around the shelves, 1200 bucks. Okay. Well, I don't want to sleep on the bench, so... Um, reach at least a hundred customers per day for one business. Okay. If you say so. Mmm. <laughs> I wasn't able to watch. I haven't had the opportunity. We'll be there maybe later today to watch. We can maybe work second register and see how things go. But first, I need to pick up my stuff. And also see about maybe repairing the van at some point. It's not a 34%. Just a little bit of everything. And then depending, we can look into doing... I'm actually going to get two paper bags. Look at me go. Depending, we can look into just having scheduled deliveries and not have to come back down here anymore. It's probably... Probably the big thing. I need... Kind of a second drinks fridge as well, unless I go for one of the big freezers, but I might also just get rid of soda cans, honestly. They're kind of annoying. <laughs> we don't sell that many of them. Uh, I don't know. Another rounded shelf for expensive gift. Two more for cheap gifts. And that'd be it. So three rounded shelves I have to pick up and then maybe another fridge. 
So that's going to be... It's like two boxes of everything, basically, then. Just to have one stocked day without any back stock. Holy cow. Okay. Here's expensive gift. Cheap gift. One of each. And then expensive and cheap flowers. We need just a million of these things, man. Drop all this off. Work register for the day. Earn enough money. Repair the van tomorrow. Oh yeah, I gotta look into HR's like working proper, right? Yeah, okay. Northcliff Lopez is currently working. Automatically replace absent employees with temporary employees. Temporary employees cost 10% more than the replaced employee. Okay. Automatically train employees up to 50%. Training is slower but cheaper. And employees will keep working on their tasks. Oh. 100%. Well, why would I not? And to send employees, just all of them. Even the other HR guy. Excellent. And then tomorrow we'll have to check back in for the other HR manager and set them up to do the training as well then. I guess. I need to... Not furniture, not office supplies, wait. Not furniture? Oh yeah, appliance store, right. Okay. There's also this appliance store. Did you have anything like really different and wild? Mm, not really. Not really. I don't know if I need shop barriers. Maybe I pick up some shop barriers as well. Just because we might have that kind of traffic. I, I don't really know if they do anything or if they're just for looks. The grocery store has one though, so I feel like I should have one too. It's looking pretty busy in here actually. And I'm gonna have to move the bed out. The, the back room is... With the second shelf and the cleaning thing back there, it's... It's a bit full. I don't know if I can work with that for very much longer. Oops. Expensive flowers up. And there we are. See, it's just like... It's a little too much. What I might end up doing is just... Have these things in the back here, maybe. Since it doesn't really matter. Like at all. Like, I can still have the cleaning thing back here, I guess. And I guess the hand truck. And then my bed can stay back in the back room? Hmm. Okay. I'm here to help. Let's go! Since I got stuff on the back shelf, this should automatically replenish with the employee working here. They, like, do the restocking for me, I think. Something like that. I might not even need the employee. It could be that it just automatically restocks from the shelves in the back. I'm not fully certain. Someone in comments said that it would, but I think you might need to have an employee, and it's just kind of assumed that the employee does that for you. Find out in a second if any... Yep, yep, there it goes. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that at all, as long as we've got it back there. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice and busy. I'm excited for the weekend to see how that goes. At some point, I should really see about getting stuff in my apartment anyway, though, because I suspect, uh, happiness-wise, we can do quite a lot with the apartment. Get, like, a, a gaming PC or a TV or something like that, and maybe my happiness... Maybe that correlates to my personal customer service skill in some way. Business-wise here, we should be just fine. Marketing's being done. We don't quite have shelf space for everything yet. 
that'll come tomorrow I'll buy that and we'll like kind of force that in for for the weekend I don't know how Backsock's gonna work with all of that stuff but I need uh three three more rounded shelves and what it you see the like the UI is just it's everywhere man like you can't you can't do anything sometimes it's just menus I hate it I really don't like how it's all the time, always bringing up menus. I guess I'll... I guess I'll sleep. I'll wake up, uh... At, like, 7.40. Only four grand profit, but we had quite some expenses that day. We're gonna have quite some expenses today as well. Yeah, they open at 9. However... We got the other HR guy working. Oh. Wait, what? D oh, right, we're closed weekends. Right. Never mind. Tomorrow then. Okay. Rounded shelves. We have cheap flower, expensive flower, expensive gift, cheap gift. So you are also expensive. And then you are, nope, cheap gift. So that should be all of that. The soda, right, I forgot about soda. Another soda can machine. I can, I can pick that up quick. That's fine. That's no problem. And then we'll be full up. Our, our maximum capacity can be reached for this weekend then. And I will call up a wholesale place and tell them for Sunday I need a delivery of just like everything. And hopefully we'll have the... I think I passed it. Hopefully we'll have the money then. Soon runs out of cheap gift. Like, actually properly out of cheap gift, or... Do I, like, actually have to go down and get that? Because I need to repair the van still. I was kind of hoping to do that today. I don't know if I can make it all the way up there to repair the van and then all the way down there to pick up cheap gift. <laughs> or can we make it through the day? A second soda can. So now, now we're set. Current capacity per hour, 30. Building limit, 30. We are good and set with extra shopping baskets as well. Okay. Right. Uh, cheap gift, you say, though. Two hundred thirty-four cheap gift. We're fine. We're good. You're just complaining because it hasn't been stocked. Is all. Oh. No, never mind. You mean what you say. Okay. So, yeah, because we have like 200 capacity on these shelves. Sans flowers that are a little more complicated. Distro. I need a contract for acts of kindness. I need for Sunday. Cheap gift. Cheap flower. Expensive flower, expensive gift. One box of each of those. Or should I just like two of everything actually? We got the space for it in the back. Go with like two and three. Yeah, let's go for that. So, cheap gifts. I suppose I'll run down and do that then. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Come along, Van. Need to get you repaired as well. Which, uh... Don't think there's a gas station down there. Maybe there is. Sort of. I guess. Ugh. Alright. We'll, uh... We'll head over to it, I guess. Because I gotta get this... I don't know what happens when this thing breaks down fully. I assume we have to call, like, a tow service and it's gonna be expensive and... I don't know, maybe then it's like, your van is ready again, and I gotta go pick it up somewhere. 1200 bucks to repair it, man. Oof. But, it's good as new. Could also maybe check into... Never mind. They are closed on Saturday. Fine. Not appliances. Not gas stations, not subway stations. I need the wholesale store. Busy, busy, busy. Man, oh man. Uh, in incredible how busy things get. I would still love to have a social life aspect to the life simulator portion of this game. I feel like that would just massively compound things to where it's not just staying busy so you can be open all day every day and turns into more I have to have days off for my personal well-being and I think I think that would really help flush things out and that would be just a simple just like you know just kind of like a, a sort of basic garbage communications thing and there goes 10% already or it's just like speech bubble with a few choices and that's it much. Really nothing fancy. So, one box of cheap gift. Uh, yeah, that's it. Because we got a big delivery tomorrow and I want to make sure I've got money for it. And I also don't want to completely clog up my back stock until I get a better idea of what we're actually selling. I think it keeps track of that as well, somewhere, like the top three or four things that you have sold. I don't know if there's like a detailed breakdown for it or not. To where I can see exactly how much of everything we're selling. So I know like, oh, what do we expect on a Saturday to go through? So what do I need to replenish for Sunday then? Etc, etc. Because I could totally see us making enough money that I'm able to set up multiple contracts to where we get a delivery every Wednesday, a delivery every Saturday, a delivery every, like, Monday, something like that. So, like, every couple days, kind of, sort of. Cheap gifts. Hey, ya uh... And... Cheap gift. Cool. I also picked up a refrigerator when I picked up those rounded shelves so I could maybe bring my lunch indoors and not have to worry about the employees swiping it because they're like paper bag and they like throw it in the register because it's also just paper bag. I don't think they're meant to do that but they do because it's the same item ID. Yeah, very nice. So I could just smash F on that and we're good. Nice. So, since that's set up, I'm actually going to pick up more fresh food. The supermarket is just next door, effectively. <laughs> so convenient, this location. I love it. And I never did pick up any shopping barrier things. Again, I'm not sure if I need to. I don't know if, like, shoplifting is a thing or if that's even what this is for. I feel like it's mostly just for uh, just like customer flow, but everybody sort of follows the exact same path anyway, so it's not really a problem yet. There, 14 fresh food in there. Very nice. Soon runs out of expensive gift, but we're also kind of sort of about done today. Look at all these people. Look at them all. Let me do a little bit of cleaning here. Jeez. 
Oh my god, look at them all. <laughs> it's like an infestation, man. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I think the cleanliness, like, isn't actually going down while I have this out. <laughs> I, I don't know how it calculates, like, filth. Maybe it just, like, once an hour, based on the foot traffic, it just kind of applies a bit of dirt or something? I, I don't... I don't know, I kind of thought, like, I would just, like, run around and do a bit of cleaning up while people are doing their thing, but, like... It ain't happening. I'll try putting it away for a bit, and then I pull it out later and see? I, I don't know. But, like, this traffic has been consistent this entire time. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've made it. <laughs> I think we're the store they've always wanted. Like, actually properly and not just across the street in a different district because oops. Which I'm not even sure if that was like a misclick, if like I was looking at the wrong region. Or if I just... Like... Small brain syndromed or something and just like accidentally forgot which one that I meant to be looking for. Overall, incredible day, I think. We are out of expensive gift. We ran out a decent while ago. Uh, backstock shelves looking... Decently empty. <laughs> Pre pretty decently empty. Still plenty of paper bags, at least. That's good. Um, soda we're even out of, apparently. I don't know if I had soda on the delivery. I don't think I did. So, we'll have to pick up some more soda, I guess. But... The rest of it? Seems fine. We'll wake up around 7 again. Okay, that shipment happens, like, straight away, and that was a 10,000 profit day. Uh, almost 18,000 profit, but with our expenses, uh, 11,000 gone. That's insane. Well... Alright. I just need some soda brought over. Which, um... I'm not making a thousand dollar contract for soda. The workers ought to be coming in today, so that's fine. The... What are my loans like? I can almost just pay off loans. I'll throw in a hundred bucks into this as well, just to bring that interest down, but I think I go for... paying those off today. I'm gonna go ahead and add soda into the Sunday delivery as well. There's that, and then... I suppose also... Paper bag. One box of paper bag will go, like, three boxes of soda. Go with a third expensive gift, a third cheap gift, and then a fourth of each flower, I think. So that's 18 out of 20. That's about as much as they can bring us right now. So then I'd have to call them again and start a new contract for Acts of Kindness. And this is going to be, uh, Friday, maybe. Cheap gift, expensive gift, cheap flower, expensive flower, paper bag, soda. Or so. Expensive gift. Flower. Flower. Um... Paper bag, soda. Go with like two boxes of soda, another box of paper bags, three expensive, three cheap flowers, two expensive gift, two cheap gift, right? Something like that. So that's enough for the weekend and then a big restock over the weekend. Um, should I do it Thursday? Maybe Thursday works a little bit better. Okay.
So I'll have to probably do a third contract still, depending, because based on sales, customer service still a bit to be desired, by the way. But it sounds like HR will be training our folks up as time goes on anyway. About 208 customers we had yesterday. Insane. That's stock count. There's just the best selling, but like, is there, uh... There's money from sales, but how many items from sales? I don't know. 579 cheap gifts in the last seven days. Like, this kind of gives you a sort of idea of what's going on, I guess. A lot of gifts. I'm just wondering how much I need to actually be buying. If people love the cheap gifts, then hey. A little more expensive. Expensive gifts, a little more expensive. Soda can stay at three. And cheap flowers, up one buck as well. Oh, really gouging them. I guess I can call up and get more employees as well. With, uh... I don't know. I'll give you like two days. I'll take another few. I'll look for some middle age because I think that might be more leaning toward full time, perhaps, rather than part time. And largely for customer service. I don't know why I would want to have a cleaning specialist. Not yet, at least. Maybe for really big businesses. But three of them should be okay, I would think. Really just like two, but depending, we can, we can like decline one or two or so. So there's that. And okay. Ooh wee. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on now. It's, <laughs> it's beginning to explode. It feels a bit like, I like it though. I like it a lot. I do kind of wish I had a, uh, a time control for myself. Like, I almost need a third register just so I can work here <laughs> and accelerate time as well. Maybe I... maybe I run along and, and grab that quick. While they're still open over here. So I don't just have to stand there. May as well at least help the customers coming through, you know? And then it's like one register per 10 foot traffic. Oof. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it kind of like automatically throws you out when you're too tired and all that. It's a bit handy. I was hoping to make it the entire shift, but oh well. Oh, um, ma'am, I'm sorry. We're not open here, ma'am. All right. Well, it is certainly satisfying to see all these people. You know, I may as well just like put them together. Why not? Uh, you know what else actually? Hold on. Are 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 registers a thing in this? Points of sales. Yeah, okay. So we're actually, like, way over. These are 20 per. Um, I want to get the proper checkout counter. That's what I want to do. 8 hours, 30 minutes. Let's say just... 8 hours. Look at that. 8 hours flat. Does this game get hotfixed to allow you to do that or something? I was always, like, just off before. I tried. 13,000 bucks. That's just incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Okay. Um, delivery? I, I thought we had a delivery going. Maybe not. Oh, delivery Sunday, delivery Thursday. Can we make this delivery Monday? And it just shows up now? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> no? All right. 
Uh, what did I want? Oh yeah, the proper checkout counter. What was that at? That was, if not there, then down at Peterson and Son. I'm surprised I remembered where that was. Yeah, proper checkout counter. I'm assuming that's going to have enough room for like 40, 50 or something. Thing is, if I do that, though. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Like, it, it'd be less employees that I need, I suppose. But like, I'm kind of OK with the employees that I've got. And I'm looking to hire some more. <laughs> uh, they got shop barriers, I guess. Restaurant booths. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I don't want those actually. Maybe I just do a little, a little manual resupply. Actually. Ooh. Actually, where is the furniture store? I want to outfit my apartment. Ah, uh, we could get like a proper truck also at some point. I don't remember what they cost. Oof. But that's also a possibility. It holds like 60 things or something insane. You probably need like a warehouse for doing that kind of thing though. But then I suppose if we need a warehouse, then let's get a warehouse. Why not? Because then they can probably outfit all of my crud all at once, you know? They open at 10? Oh, good grief. What if I don't want to sleep here, though? Like, I just want to wait. I don't actually want to sleep because it's going to hurt my mood. <laughs> We'll see about getting some uh, entertainment stuff here, like a, like a TV or something for the apartment or back room, perhaps, since I kind of live in my workplace. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, it's also Monday, so I can go Bizman, Axelsior, HR managers. It's still Northcliffe. Why is it still Northcliffe? Oh yeah, because you work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, all right. So tomorrow, and then Lauren can start their first day. Oh God. <sighs> okay. <laughs>